Hi, this is April with the Featherweight Shop, and I'm going to be doing a quick demonstration of our newest product, the Binding Baby and the Flower Spindle. This is one way that you can set it up to use on your Singer Featherweight, and I'm really excited to show you because it's totally changed how I sew my binding on. Before, I used to have all my binding kind of go onto the floor, and it would make a big pile or mess, and if I had a puppy dog or a little kitty cat or whatever, sometimes I'd have to worry about hair getting up, but now, no longer. Now, my binding is kept up off the floor and onto my machine, and I'm really excited to show you how you can use it on the Singer Featherweight. So, this is one way that you can set it up. You have the binding baby, which is a little spool uh, with a little hole there on the bottom. And you can put her on top of your machine on the spool pin. And then you have a flower spindle that sits at the back of your machine. And you can use your cone or other larger spools of thread. Um, and they feed up to the thread stand and down to your machine needle. So I'm going to do a quick demonstration of how this works. So my binding is uh, cut and folded, pressed and it's wrapped around the binding baby, um, the right uh, mount that I needed for my quilt, and then I'm ready to go. So it's just gonna feed straight down to my machine as I need it. Well, let's so show you how this works. So I need a little bit more, and the binding baby just cutely turns and gives me a little more binding. And so that's one way that you can set up your binding baby on your Singer Featherweight. Now I'll show you another way. Okay, so the other way that I'm gonna show you how I set this up for my use with my Singer Featherweight is if I have a different type of thread that I'm using. So I use my flower spindle this time to hold my binding baby because it does have a little pin there that you can put your binding baby on. And as I need my binding, she will still feed me the binding as I need it and my thread, it won't matter even if I'm using a thread stand or just a straight spool of thread that goes right to the needle. So I will show you here a little demonstration. As I need more binding, she just feeds it to me. And that's how you use the binding baby and flower spindle with the Singer Featherweight. You can use it with any type of thread, whether you have a cone or a regular spool, a thread stand, it can be set up um, however you prefer. The flower spindles are available in either red or yellow, and the binding babies are available in a variety of colors. And they even have a cute little brett in their hair. Aren't they darling? We hope you enjoy using a binding baby with your Singer Featherweight.